Have you ever seen a beautifully edited video only to find out that it was edited on someone's iPhone? In this video, I'm going to show you how I create stunning and professional videos all from my iPhone and the apps within it. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Morgan Ryan and I am the creator of Miss Maverick News. Let's hop into the tutorial and I hope you guys can enjoy. I call this my Bieber blues because this looks just like something Justin Bieber would wear. So I find one of the easiest ways to dress up loungewear, especially a sweatpant look, is to add a little jewelry. This just bumps it up, makes it look a little bit more high fashion, and this is more of a streetwear look, but I definitely believe jewelry plays a huge role in making this look look good. Once you're in KineMaster, tap the plus icon and create a new project. Choose the aspect ratio 16 by 9. Now click on media and go into your camera roll. Select the clips that you would like to incorporate. Once we have our media loaded, the first thing we're going to want to do is create an aesthetic background for our video. To do this, I'm going to go into the assets store and go to clip graphics. From here, you're going to select stylish and I'm going to use wrinkle paper. I've pre-downloaded it, but you'll see a button that says install. Click that, and this will add a layout and a little bit of texture to our video. To implement, click on the clip you desire to layer it on, and press clip graphics. From here, you'll see all of your downloads. I'm gonna go into wrinkle paper and try on all the different formats, and I'm gonna go with number six. Click the check in the upper right corner, and it is applied. Next, to create some differentiation between our styled looks, we're gonna create an intro for each one. So we're gonna go back into the asset store, same as before, and go into stylish again, and I'm going to select paper pieces. The installation is the same process as before, only this time we have the option to customize it with some font and verbiage. So we're gonna select the one we like and go into the text section, and we're just gonna create blue look for now. Hit the check in the upper right hand corner and play it back. Next, we're gonna want to adjust the speed on some of the visuals to get that slow-mo effect. To do this, we will select the section of the video we wish to slow down and click the speed button. You can adjust the speed by using the little toggle in the middle, and I'm gonna bring it down to about a 0.7.8. Another tool we can use to create this cinematic feel is adding a slight zoom in or out. To do this, I simply click the pan and zoom button and adjust the start position and the end position. Keep in mind, a more drastic end position will result in a faster zoom versus a more gradual one. Now let's add some dimension. To do this, I love adding in some B-roll footage. Click the media tab and select the video you'd like to import. Now with B-roll, you could either layer it on top of the original video so that you keep your sound, or you could just splice it in between clips. I'm gonna splice it in between clips. Another way to add in dimension is to have multiple clips on the screen. To do this, we're just going to add a layer by clicking layer and importing the video we would like to have on our screen at the same time as the original footage. From here, adjust the video or image to line up with the desired location in the toolbar below. Pinch the corners and drag to desired location and size. Now that we got a majority of the aesthetics done, it's time to finish her off with some small details such as music, voiceover, and text. So we're gonna go back into the asset store and click on the T for text and scroll through until we find a few fonts that really resonate and we're going to install those. Go back to your main screen and hit layer, select text, and type out your label. Once you've completed writing what you would like the label to say, you can go in and adjust the size. You can go into the font and search for the fonts that you have downloaded and or those that are provided. I'm gonna use this one right here. And I'm gonna readjust the size. And I'm gonna scroll down here to basically add an outline so that it has a little bit more of a 60s, 70s vibe. 
and you can make it thicker or thinner. And now I'm gonna add in some color effects, maybe blue to match the hat, or maybe yellow to match the sunglasses. Adding a voiceover is a great way to add detail to your videos in post-production. To do this, line up your toolbar with the part of the clip you'd like to add the voiceover. Click record, and when you're ready, press start. When you're done, press stop, and then the check mark. Pro tip, it helps to have a written out script to save you time. Test one, two, test one, two. The final touch would be to add some background music. You can do this two ways. Import it through Kinemaster specifically, which we will focus on, or import it from a royalty-free source that you have already pre-downloaded. We went back into the asset store, clicked on the music button, and we found a song that fits the video's vibe. Once installed, go back to the main screen and select audio. Within music, you should find a song or the songs you downloaded from the asset store. Select the one you desire and then press the plus button. Some sections you'll want the music more muted, for example, when you're doing a voiceover. To adjust this, simply place the red marker on the part of the video where you'd like it to be more of a background sound and then tap on the music bar so that it is highlighted in yellow. Select mixer and adjust down to the intensity you desire. Press the check and play it back to ensure it's the right level. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure to subscribe and ask them in the comments below. And if you don't already have KineMaster, you can find the direct link in the description down below, or you can just search in the Apple Store and or Google Play. And that's it. See y'all next time. Bye.